All righty, uh, next video here is our bandsaw safety video for our safety series. Um, I'm going to show you guys how this bandsaw works, different parts, and we're going to make four different cuts. Two six-inch cuts, two five-inch cuts. Those are going to be our sides to our little trays that we're making. Before I get into all that, though, I want to make sure that we're following all the safety procedures. So I'm going to take off my, my watch, my wedding ring. Um, I do not have long hair, so I don't need to tie it back. If you do, please tie it back. No jewelry on for me. I don't have any um, uh, like hoodie strings hanging down, toes, closed toed shoes, and short sleeves. So we're good, good to go. Um, so this Rikon here is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Um, a couple of the parts that I want to start off by showing you is that this right here is the blade guard cover. So if we can open it up and the blade and the wheels are, are inside. Um, this is just keeps you safe, uh, keeps it or just in case the blade actually uh, breaks, it keeps it inside there and doesn't, you don't get hurt. Um, over here is the blade guard. Um, so you loosen this and then this can go up and down. Remember, we always want our blade guard to be just about an eighth inch over the top of our stocks. So that's pretty close. Um, then to lock it in place, I'm going to tighten this nice and tight and now we're, we're set to go. This up here is our tension knob, blade tension knob. Um, honestly, you guys should not be touching this. If something were to happen with the blade, Mr. Singer or myself will come over and we would be adjusting this right here. On our um, bandsaw, we have our table right here. The table also has a fence, which can be locked into place, and we have our um, measurements right here. So like I said, we're going to be cutting two six-inch pieces and two five-inch pieces. So um, we're going to go ahead and cut that. Big thing you want to make sure you're doing when you're working with the bandsaw is you have your fence and it's secured down so it's, nothing's going to move. And one, we have our blade guard at the right height. Um, but the second thing is as we're cutting, we want to make sure that this piece of our wood keeps flush against our fence. If we start to turn like this and then we get a gap, this line here is not going to be straight. So you really need to focus right here, as well as watch where your hands are at all times by the blade, okay? So let's go ahead and make our couple cuts here. Over here is the power switch. I'm just going to pull it up to turn it on. I'm gonna let the blade or the saw come to, um, you know, full power. It's running at its optimal speed. And then I'm going to be pushing this piece of wood through the blade. Now, I'm not forcing it. I'm letting the blade do the work, okay? So I put one hand here and I put my other hand over here. And like I said, I'm gonna keep my eye on that part. So. And I can keep pushing through and I can bring the wood back through this way. So that was one six inch cut. I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna actually get rid of this knot right here. Okay, and a couple things just to remember uh, when you are working with any of the saws in the shop, we don't make any adjustments to the blades, the blade heights or anything like that until the machines are off. I can move my fence and, and make a different dimension or a different measurement, but nothing with our blades. Okay, so here comes our five inch piece. Band saws are also um, saws that I like to have a partner with. Um, someone at this side can, can reach and pull the wood away, but I still am the only one feeding the wood through the blade. And there are my four cuts. Two five inches, whoops, and two six inches. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you come ask Mr. Singer or myself. You also want to make sure that we um, clean off our, our table and our area when we're all done. Scrap wood like this can go into any of the scrap wood bins. We, Mr. Stringer and I have a bunch of them laying around the shop. Let me know if you have any questions.